Berries being sick like that again. That's just pure blood in it. Careful, mate. Oh dear. Oh dear. You all right, mate? Poor old bear. His poops were fine, but that bloody isn't. That's um, exactly what he did the other day. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, don't go near it, mate. Uh, what can we do about this, mate? going to have to be a vet visit, isn't it, if this carries on. He was perfectly fine up until now. All of a sudden, that's come out of the blue. You've not had a stick or anything. Oh, dear bear. So, so <laughs> it was, it was uh, his choice. Uh, immediately after having thrown up all that blood, uh, he's up for a bit of ball. I just don't understand it. The poops were fine. Poops were fine, really, mate. How can you be throwing up like that? And playing like that? Immediately after having thrown up like that? Something seriously not good here. Do not mess with a stick. Come on. No, not... Uh, good boy, good boy, come on. Oh, dear. Okay, it's that time, and we are here. Top mess. We're at top mess. Me and the hound, who's acting quite normally at the moment. But uh, I thought it was best to panic, so we panicked, and we're here. Uh, yeah, we're here early, so uh, 2.30 is the appointment. We'll be sat here in the car park for a bit. Uh, the car park is full. We've sort of squeezed in where we are here. I'm not sure if we're allowed to or not, but that's where we're going to be. All right, Bear. You been good? <laughs> you feeling okay? You're acting your normal flipping self, mate. You are. Do you want a biscuit? Should we try it? Because you refused one earlier on. Do you want a biscuit? Where's a biscuit? Refused. You don't want it? Yeah, exactly. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, you're not quite right, are you, Bear? <laughs> a flipping understatement. I think you're on your way out, mate. We shall be waiting here for a bit. Okay, we're out. Um, we didn't get in until... That's almost an hour, is it? <laughs> that can't be right. Maybe half an hour. Three quarters of an hour. That was a, we were in there for a long time. That's better than seeing a flipping doctor. We're trying that. Um, yeah, we're done. Okay, we're back in the car. Um, we shall be driving home. God, I find it difficult driving. Uh, concentrating and all of that now. Um, we was in there for flipping ages. Right, initially it was going to be, oh dear, we need to do an endoscopy and a, 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 an x-ray. And I showed her the video. I showed her the video. And I think that spoke volumes. It seemed to really grab her attention. And uh, it was talking about endoscopies and all manner of nonsense. And uh, she went off to have a word with somebody and then came back after having spoken to the surgeon who suggested, right, first things first, um, it could be a, a, an ulcer. So uh, we're going to do the omeprazole, which is ironic because I've had that for uh, reflux and all that. You know, it's an anti-acid, antacid. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens over the next week, seven days, 
we got one tablet twice a day, 14 tablets, seven days of these tablets to see if there is a reoccurrence of this uh, vomiting the blood, uh, which she admitted she'd not seen before. So, uh, like I said, I think the video spoke volumes and grabbed her attention there. So, poor old Mr. Flipping Bear. Uh, we're going to be trying the tablets and we got to modify the food we're giving you because um, raw food may be bad for uh, an ulcer if that's what it is. Uh, anyway, enough, enough, enough. Uh, why am I recording this? I have no idea. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get in the queues of traffic. Now, the traffic was bad coming here. Never mind getting home now. Okay, it's that time. You're going to have to wait there. <laughs> He's very interested. <laughs> Aren't you? You're very interested. The smell in here is going to make me heave. Um, the mints. The mints. I'm trying to get out of the flipping light here. That's not any good, is it? Um, the mints that I give him all the time. This mints from the pet store. Um, the vet seemed concerned about the raw food, so I suggested, well, if I cook it, is that better? And I think the answer was affirmative, so I've cooked it. So I, I've microwaved it for about four minutes in the microwave that I just shut, left open. I microwaved it for about four minutes. It was already defrosted. And uh, it's now, that, that's cooked, there's no question about that, that's fully cooked. And the smell in here is awful. I'm gonna have to open the window. <laughs> awful smell. It always is. With that mince, but uh, cooking it has uh, obviously filled the flipping place with the smell of it. And uh, Mr. Bear is looking very interested now. Can you smell it? You're gonna have to wait, mate. You're wagging your tail. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to wait because it's got to cool down. I've probably over, overcooked it actually. And I've also, the vet was also concerned about. Um, the the dry mixed meal that I give the, you know this biscuity stuff that it's wow. Um, she seems concerned to not have it dry. Don't have it dry. Something about you know when you take it into your esophagus or whatever it, it would expand. Blah blah blah. So it's not to be dry. So what am I doing? Adding gravy. So I'm uh, <laughs> experimenting with cooking for bear. You're gonna have to wait ages, mate. It's just steaming hot here. It's really hot. So you're going to have to wait. i got to mix all that up as well. So you just wait a minute, mate. Okay, it's that time. I've had it uh, in his bowl, sat in, a <laughs> sat, sat in the bowl of water to cool it down with the window open to let the flipping horrible smell out. That is the first omeprazole. Normally, if that was me, I'd probably start them tomorrow so that it's like pairs, you know, two a day. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's uh, not delay. What have we got to lose? We've got very little to lose. So whoops, there it goes. That's the omeprazole. Um chucked in with his food. There's no instructions uh, in in the prescription they've given me, and I can't remember if it's with food, without food. But what does it matter? It's gonna have to be with food, isn't it? Every time. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're gonna. Let me just uh, bury that. Let's bury the tablet. There's the tablet. Let's uh, assume that he will eat it. Right. Well, what are you going to make of it then, Mr. A Bloody Bear? There is your food. It's uh, quite warm still, actually. So make of that what you will. And that's making nothing of it at the moment. You're going to go for it? Is that lovely? Let's give it a go. Right, let's look the other way. Let's not <laughs> put any added pressure on the situation. I think he's going to go for that. Okay, let's see if he leaves the tablet. Well, I'm 
hopeful. Shall we approach? Did you eat it all? Is it all gone? Is it all gone? Flip it A. That will do nicely. Okay, you'll come back in in a minute. It's our routine that the minute he's eaten, and this seems to have been a routine that he came with, as soon as he's eaten, he seems to want to go out. So we shall let you out. Actually, let me put the light on, because I am now inclined to make absolutely certain there's nothing untoward happening whilst you're out there. Okay. Acting normally. Good oh. Right. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Like I said, he's been out. He did not go to the toilet. I, I, I followed him out there, actually. Um, he had a sniff about and then came back in and now he's licking out the last of the bowl there. As is his habit. So he's acting perfectly normally right now. Ain't ya? You've had a tablet and everything. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yeah, we've got plenty of treats here that uh, we're not giving you, mate. Uh, we're we're going to be very, very careful what's going into you at the moment. Good boy. Okay, uh, enough with that. Enough with that. 